found him. Take him. I'll cover you. He's going into stasis. Contact. Head to the extraction point. As you can see, London's having a rough time of it. What with these nasty opportunists seizing control. That's where you come in. Welcome to the resistance. It's up to you to build the perfect team and take the city back. The good news is that any Londoner could become your next recruit. You can play as anyone. And they've all got their own gameplay skills. See this charming chappy? That's Victor. Watch it, you dumb idiot. He only takes half the amount of damage after his nectar pint. Or four. <laughs> Top man! And her, that's Sue, top-notch lawyer. Once in your team, she can get your operatives out of jail automatically. You don't even need to lift a finger. Nice one, Sue. And this is Alan, old codger and veritable mad bastard. Increased damage with rifles and, wait, may die randomly? R.I.P. Alan. Moving on. Everyone is different, so you have to decide what's best for your team. But why would these fine people want to join you? Well, everyone's got an origin story. I want you to help me get revenge on the gangster that killed my brother. Help them with their problem, and once they trust you, they will become playable characters. Each one of your new best friends is a unique gameplay build. So dust off your sorting hat and give them a class. Then level them up and unlock new perks. There are thousands of possibilities. Whether you've got a knack for gizmos, or you'd rather stalk people from the shadows, building a team with diverse skills will be critical to your success. Each new recruit will make your team stronger. You can even customise your team members. There, what a lovely hat. Of course, accidents can happen. Don't worry. If you're smart, you could always surrender. No shame in that. How would you rate our kiss from last night? decided to join us. All right. You all know the drill. Run your routes. Mark your logbooks. You run into anything you can't handle. Uh, Ellie! You have no idea what you're walking into. What are you doing? You don't know how large that group is. How armed. I don't care.
think I'd let you do this on your own? Some say he died on the beach. Others say he is a storm made to flesh. When the wind thrashes their tents and boats, they know he is coming.
doubt you could even imagine it. That which commanded the stars, giving life its fullest brilliance. The Elden Ring. Oh, Elden Ring. Shattered by someone or something. Don't tell me you don't see it. Look up at the sky. It burns. Infection progresses. Our biomarker is turning red. Another way to use UV light is the UV flare. It covers a big area, but lasts only for a few seconds. Viaduct. Over the track. Okay, on my way. Be careful, Wade. The Colonel, he's a psycho. He doesn't mess around. Neither do I. Fucking tell me what you plan to do first. You take job. You do what I say. So you chuck in now. Of the many gangs in Cyberpunk 2077, the Voodoo Boys are the most skilled at using the net. I've now seen the Nizu Agwe on Sebnet. Why? What for? You are my vessel now. Do Agwe, I see what you see. You want to hear. This mysterious gang of highly skilled netrunners has close ties to the local Haitian community. You are V? We have been waiting. Haitians settled in Pacifica in the 2060s after natural disasters struck their island and forced them to emigrate en masse. The Voodoo Boys gang formed around this same time, though at a smaller scale. Now the gang effectively rules Pacifica. The Voodoo Boys don't usually work with outsiders. Lucky for us, it seems they're prepared to make an exception this time. Mr. Hand sent me. He said you got Murph work needs doing. Still, to earn their trust, we need to prove our worth. Placide, one of the Voodoo Boys higher ups, has offered us a mission. We need to infiltrate the Grand Imperial Mall, currently occupied by the Voodoo Boys' deadly enemy, a gang called the Animals. 2035. Zero seven. Three seconds before, poof, the camionette. We try to learn where the camionette come from. The animals are not your normal gang. Their presence in Pacifica is suspicious. They value might above all else and wear melee combat implants to raise their prowess in combat. Their beverage of choice is juice, a potent strength and speed enhancing concoction. As sought after bouncers, they're usually dispersed throughout town, 
As skilled street-level business types, they've cornered the market in illegal substances and underground live-or-die prize fights. When they converge in one spot, it's for something big. It's then they appoint the fastest and strongest among them as their ad hoc leader. In this case, it's a woman named Sasquatch. Then you wanted my bet. No. As far as I remember, you said no bone brain buffaloes on steroids. I'm afraid that's the cost of doing biz. This is the tech Placide was talking about. It seems non-standard for the animals. And this is where we come in. Getting to the van won't be easy, but we're more than qualified for Godless barbarians. They murder and kill blindly. Scar the lands of England. Lands they will never defend. Never love. The time has come to speak to them in a language they will understand.